Let's take a look at complex numbers on a T86 calculator. Specifically, we're going to look at the first problem, square root of negative 49. Now, if I do my uh, square root, I do second and then the x squared. Puts a square root, and I'll put a beginning parenthesis. Always good practice to put that on there. And then negative 49, and then closing parenthesis. And then if I press enter, one of two things will happen. You'll get um, 0, 7 with parentheses around it. Or it's possible, depending upon what your mode is, if I did second mode, if uh, you had different settings in some of these, you might get a different, uh, different format. Um, I couldn't tell you for sure, but there's a polar form. Let's see what this does. Polar C. So I'm going to down arrow to that, press enter on it, and then I'll exit to exit out. And now, um, let me do the square root of negative 49. And see, we get a different format. So, depending upon what your options are under mode, you may not see that 0, 7. Now, that's what we want, though. Uh, this is actually giving us our um, R and our theta, if you're familiar with polar form. Anyway, I'm going to go back into mode, so I do second, more. And I want that as the rectangular coordinate. Okay. Now, um, you see how I have all my first options here? I think there's what, excuse me, only one page. Yeah, only one page. So if you go into mode, make sure yours looks like this, and you should get the same results as me, in theory. Then X it out. Excuse me. Okay. Now let me do it again. The square root of beginning parentheses, negative 49, closing parentheses, and then enter. Now, this form here is how it writes uh, complex numbers. We have our real part and our imaginary part, and it has parentheses around it. So these zeros are real part, comma, and then the 7 is our imaginary part. So how you interpret this, this is 7i. Okay, let's take a look at the adding two complex numbers. Well, to add these, you pretty well type it in as you see it, but you have to remember you have to put it in this format. So I'll do a beginning parentheses, put in my real part, so I'll do 1. And then we'll do comma, and then 5 for the imaginary part, closing parentheses, plus beginning parentheses, 8, comma, and then my real my imaginary part, which is negative 2. Now you don't put the I, you just put the number that's in front of the I. And then press enter. And let's give us uh, this result. Now again, how you interpret that is that's 9 plus 3I. Now, subtraction. Again, I'll pretty well type it in, recognizing I have to put it into the um, proper format for the calculator. So I'll do beginning parentheses, 3, comma, 2, closing parentheses, minus, beginning parentheses, 4, and then comma, negative 7. Make sure you choose the negative, the one on the very bottom row, and then closing parentheses, and then press enter. And so our answer will be negative 1 plus 9i. Now multiplication. Now this part, I'm definitely not an expert on T86. Uh, let's just try to put the parentheses next to each other. If that doesn't work, we'll put a times in between them. So I do a beginning parentheses, 11, comma, negative 1, closing parentheses, now put a beginning parentheses, 2 plus, or not plus, comma, 3, closing parentheses, and then press enter. And it looks like it uh, defaults to multiplication when you got one complex number next to another one. And our answer is 25 plus 31i. Okay, now for our, our division here. Well, I want to put uh, parentheses around the top, parentheses around the bottom. That's a trick to plug in then, which is kind of handled automatically when you're talking about complex numbers, because there's parentheses around them anyway. So I'll do a beginning parentheses, 3, comma, 2, closing parentheses, divided by, 
beginning parentheses, 5, comma, negative 1. Closing parentheses. And then I'm going to uh, press enter. Now we get 0.5 and 0.5. And if I um, do my second multiplication, there's a number, so I choose F1 below it. And um, let me see, I'll do the more for the next page. And um, let me exit out of that. Let me choose miscellaneous. Then do more. There it is, fraction. Couldn't remember what it was. I thought it was under num, but it's under miscellaneous. So again, uh, how you do that is once you get into this menu, if you go into your math, so you do second multiplication, and these are menu choices. So you just push the button straight below it. For like miscellaneous, I push the F5, and it brings that up. And this arrow here means there's more to the right, so I can press my more button. And I was looking for the frac. Frac. And so then I'll push the F1 below it, and then press enter, and that'll change it to fraction form. So that's one half plus one half i, and that's our answer. Now to get those to get those disappear, you just press exit, and for each time you push exit, it gets rid of uh, uh, another layer of the menu. Okay, let's take a look at i to the fourth. Well, you have to think what uh, this represents. If I do a beginning parentheses, my real part is 0, comma, and then uh, the number that's in front of my i is a 1. So I'd be 0, comma, 1, and then I'll do caret 4, and press enter. Again, kind of bizarre how it looks, but this says 1 plus 0i, or just 1. So your answer is 1. Now this one. We want i to the 401st power. So do beginning parentheses, do 0, comma, 1, closing parentheses, caret, 401, and then press enter. And again, this is our real part and our imaginary part. So this says 0 plus 1i, or 0 plus i, or just simply i. So our answer is i in that problem. But that's how you do complex numbers on a TI-86. And uh, might be easier ways than what I'm showing here. I'm definitely not an expert on TI-86. I'm trying to show you enough so if a student comes in with a TI-86, they can actually function in my um, college algebra class.